What is stopping mankind from a 100% renewable energy future? It is not the availability of renewable energy, but the lack of viable energy storage solutions. Generation of energy via renewable sources is already cheaper than coal. So what's the hold up? The Tesla battery day, it was only about cost, 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 cost. So even Tesla, they know that what is the most important uh, for the energy storage market to really emerge as a market. This is what Mr. Gauthier Dupont, the director of energy infrastructure at NCX, emphasized in his talk at the World Energy Storage Day last year. Now, Mr. Elon Musk himself is striving for an unimaginable under $50 per kilowatt hour cell cost right now. A word of caution here is that Elon was speaking of cost at the cell level. The cost at the battery pack level even for Tesla are going to be higher than that. But then how does a $100 per kilowatt hour of battery cost get us to a 1 cent tariff you ask? It is just simple math really. Imagine a $100 battery with a life of 100 cycles at 100% depth of discharge. That is, you can charge and discharge all the energy stored in the battery. That gives a tariff of $1 per kilowatt hour. If the battery has a life of 1000 cycles, the tariff would be 10 cents and if its life was 10,000 cycles, the tariff would reach our lofty target of 1 cent. And that is a big ask indeed. Nonetheless, even at a tariff of 2 cents or 3 cents or even higher, energy storage can have thousands of financially viable applications all over the world. However, you must be wondering, are we even close to this target of 1 cent tariff today? You would be surprised to see in the next section of this video. But before that, do bear in mind that energy storage does not mean only batteries. In fact, today, the most used method of energy storage is in fact pumped hydro. But now, many more innovative technologies are already under development. Which ones? Here is Dr. Rahul Valvarkar, Chair of World Energy Storage Day Conference and the President and MD of Customized Energy Solutions India speaking about them at last year's conference. Technology, conventional technologies like pumped hydro or compressor energy storage, uh, but there are new technologies such as modular uh, gravity storage using cranes and concrete blocks or using sort of a train compartments for moving uh, weights up and down a mountain slope. Uh, there are newer forms of electrochemical technologies such as molten uh, uh, solid batteries by AMRI or ion ion batteries or ion air batteries by Palm Energy which are getting funding. Uh, there are even newer forms of compressor energy storage technologies are being invented. And all these technologies were presented in detail by experts working on them throughout the virtual conference. Case study on India's biggest upcoming hybrid park. Mr. S. K. Mishra, Director of Solar Energy Corporation of India, presented an incredible case study of what would happen if India's biggest upcoming solar project at Khawda in Gujarat implemented an 18 to 20 gigawatt hour storage system instead of a 4.5 gigawatt hour solar park. The break-even tariff of a solar plus storage system at Khavra would be just 4.6 to 4.9 cents per kilowatt hour. But that includes 2.5 to 2.8 cents of solar power charges, which means the storage tariff is only 2 cents per unit and that was considering lithium-ion battery price of $175 per kilowatt hour. But that's not at all. Mr. S. K. Mishra also gave some eye-opening insights about the cost of conventional thermal power today. If today we go to the any thermal power, so you will, go, you will not get rate more less than 4 rupees, 4.5 or 5 rupees. New, uh, new solar plant time, uh, new uh, thermal plant time. So, Commissioning new thermal power plants is no longer economically viable compared to a solar plus storage system in India. Now you might be wondering if the costs in India are already so low, are the costs in China even lower? 
Stay tuned till the end of this video to find out. But before that, take a look at the source of this eye-opening info. Mr. Mishra presented these incredible insights as a part of a free workshop on the subject of solar plus storage that was a part of the 5th World Energy Storage Day, a global conference and expo on the 22nd of September last year. The conference was graced by many luminary speakers like Prof. Stanley Wittigam, winner of a Nobel Prize for his research on lithium-ion battery technology. Here is a glimpse of Prof. Wittigam's vision for energy storage, which he presented at the last year's conference. Welcome everybody to World Energy Storage Day and to the 2020s, the decade of energy storage. We are now in a great position to help clean the environment, and mitigate global warming. The future is bright for storage and lithium batteries are ready to go. The 24-hour marathon conference had more than 150 speakers, including industry veterans, policy makers, academia, innovators, and professionals from around the world. The event comprised of 16 sessions on stationary energy storage, e-mobility, green hydrogen, and manufacturing and innovation, in addition to that, 10 expert-led workshops were conducted on a range of subjects like solar plus storage, EV charging infrastructure, energy storage systems, EV battery fire and safety, circular economy, energy access, and even urban air mobility. If you missed it, absolutely no need to worry. An even bigger conference and expo is coming up on the same day this year that is the 22nd of September 2022, which we will be streaming live for free, but only to pre-registered attendees. Click on the link given in the i button or the video description to sign up for your free access pass. In case you miss the live streaming, you can watch the entire conference and workshops on IESA Academy, whose link is also available in the video description. You can also watch last year's conference and workshops on IESA Academy. However, please note that the conference and workshops are available for free only during the live stream. So don't forget to sign up and rest assured that we will give you timely reminders leading up to this year's live stream. The lithium ion back price is currently uh, 680 RMB per kilowatt hour. And we expect that to come down to 450 RMB per kilowatt hour by 2025. That was Mr. Matt Strain from CNESA showing the lithium ion pack price in China for EV application has already reached $100 today and will drop down to just $67 in just another four years. So one cent per unit tariff seems to be within reach in China very soon. And of course, there was some great data from North America as well, which is coming up in the next section of the video. Oversizing the solar only with batteries sometimes doesn't make sense. So we have looked at solar plus diesel uh, plus batteries. Mr. Hemant Mandal, who is the energy lead for the Asia-Pacific region at International Finance Corporation of the World Bank Group, gave a glimpse into the indicative cost for solar against diesel for off-grid or mini-grid applications. Typically, most of the remote mini-grids have operating costs of 30 to 40 cents per kilowatt hour for diesel generators. For a 4-hour storage capability, the mini-grid being a small-scale system, its storage cost still works out to be just 4.7 cents per kilowatt hour if you subtract the cost of 8.3 cents of solar from the 13 cents of solar plus battery cost. Last but not the least, let's not forget the project which drew the world's attention to solar plus storage in a big way, commissioned just four years ago. The blended price was just 13.9 cents per kilowatt hour even back in 2017, in spite of much higher battery cost compared to today. And don't forget to like this video and pull our trending videos into your recommendation scroll and please subscribe. Plus, turn on the notification bell to get a heads up when we upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching right till the end. You can also subscribe to our Emerging Technology Radio Podcast 
to stay up to date on emerging technology trends at www.etn.news on Libsyn, iTunes, Spotify and other platforms where you get your favorite podcasts. Check out our other videos on green hydrogen, electric vehicles and urban air mobility from the World Energy Storage Day Conference 2021.